Good morning everybody and welcome to Pete on Retreat. Today, I'm going to have surgery. Hello everybody and welcome to the channel. For any of you that are new, my name's Pete. About a year and a half ago, I sold everything I owned so I could retire at 49 and move to Thailand. Yeah, I know, I haven't put out a video in a long time and I'm going to try to change that. Quickly, let me just say that everything's good, including the surgery that I've got going on today. Life is overall very fantastic, but it's also been very busy and YouTube is just not my priority right now. I've still got a long list of videos I wanna do and I'm hoping soon that I'll get back into my routine of releasing a video every week. I'm hoping making this video today will get that process going. And so without further ado, let's talk about having surgery in Pattaya, Thailand. When I was 21 years old, my girlfriend noticed a small little lump in my calf. It was smaller than the size of a pea. I wasn't too concerned about it and never really got checked out. Regular viewers of my channel know I'm a pretty big procrastinator when it comes to certain things and that's especially taking care of medical issues. Some of you at home are probably already doing the math right now. Wait, you said you retired at 49 and you've had this lump since you're 21? Yeah, well, I'm almost 51 now, so this lump is almost 30 years old. It's grown probably every year, I don't know, every month for those last 30 years. Yeah, it's pretty large now. I kind of joke about it. I call it my friend Lumpy. I've told people that I was a conjoined twin that I absorbed when I was in my mom's belly. Now, I have had doctors look at it before and it was fully my intention to have it removed before I moved to Thailand, back when I was living in the United States and had full health care. Now, I've got insurance here, but like I said, I'm a procrastinator. I'm still on travel insurance and I really need to get off of that. I think if I put it on my calendar for next month, I'll actually take care of it next month. It worked for the surgery. I put surgery on my calendar this month and I'm actually getting it done. So yeah, Lumpy is a little big and I've had doctors look at it and they've all said kind of the same thing. It's almost definitely nothing to worry about. It's probably just a mass of like fat and tissue. They've said without testing, they can't be sure it's not cancerous, but I've lived with it 30 years. If it was cancer, I'd be dead by now, right? Okay, let's get into some of the logistics. What does scheduling surgery or having surgery look like here in Pattaya, Thailand? To tell you the truth, a couple weeks ago, I wasn't really sure. Back home in the States, I would go to my primary care physician and they would give me a recommendation. Or because I had PPO insurance, I could actually just go to a specialist that was covered on my network. It's going to be outpatient surgery, which just means that I'm going in, they're going to give me a local anesthetic, I'm not getting put under. They're going to slice my leg open and cut that sucker out. Bye bye, Lumpy. I'm going to go home, same day. I'm not sure what the whole recovery is. The only thing they told me before was that I'm not going to be able to go swimming for a while. So I went to a yacht party last week. It's one of the reasons why I scheduled the surgery for today. Okay, I'm rambling back to how to get surgery in Thailand. So I did a little research. There's some good Facebook groups um, run by expats and for expats on Facebook. So I went there and asked. What do you got? What do you got? I love how all the security guards here are so friendly and they all salute you too. Well, okay, my security guards don't salute me, but the ones that my friend DC's building do. I had already known that there's three private hospitals here in Pattaya. There's also two government hospitals, but I know I'm not trying to go have surgery in one of those. The government hospitals here will take care of you. They're really intended to help the people that don't have insurance or don't have the money to take care of private liabilities. Last month, I visited Bangla Mong Hospital, which is the government hospital to the north. To be honest, it's a little scary in there to me. I had gone there with the Birdie Foundation to do a donation. We had set up a small tour and a donation for the pediatrics ward and we bought a wheelchair for the male surgery ward. Yeah, the Birdie Foundation. I know that's a topic for a video coming up soon, I hope. At the Bing Lamong Hospital, there's like no private rooms. You're just in a big room with everybody. 
I hear the medical care is pretty good, but I've got the money for a private hospital, so I asked about that. The three private hospitals in town are Patia International, Patia Memorial, and Bangkok Hospital Patia. On Google, all three of them were pretty evenly rated, but talking to people, it seems like Bangkok Hospital Patia has the best reputation in town. Along with that reputation is that it's probably the most expensive of the three hospitals in town. I'm not normally the type of person to automatically go to the most expensive option when I'm shopping around for something, but for the first time getting my body cut open at a hospital in Thailand, I decided I had to start at the top. Two weeks ago, my girlfriend and I just drove to Bangkok Hospital. It's also the furthest one from our house, so I've told her if any emergencies happen, that's not the one I want to go to. We just showed up. I had no idea what it was going to take to have surgery booked. I'm sure there's a few people watching now that are saying that I'm pretty naive or just calling me an idiot. I think that's actually what a lot of people find fun about my channel is that I have no idea what I'm doing out here. I mean, I've got a pretty good idea of how things work here now, but I'm always sharing these events with my viewers and they all get to learn along with me. So we go to the hospital. If you watched one of my last videos about running red lights in Thailand, the infamous girlfriend line of, I not see, I not wrong. Well, we ran the red light on the way to the hospital. We go up to the information desk or the registration desk. I tell them what I'm there for. They have me fill out a form, very simple, just one page, very basic information, and they take a photocopy of my passport. Yeah, when you go to the doctor, bring your passport with you. After filling out the paperwork, they direct me to go to the surgery ward. It was just down the hall and to the left a bit. We go to the surgery ward and I check in. A nurse comes out with a rolling blood pressure machine. They take my temperature under my armpit. I wait a few minutes and then they sit me down in a hallway nearby where I could see all the different doctor offices. Excuse me, surgeon's offices. I mean, they're doctors too, but anyway, you get the picture. We wait, I don't know, maybe 10, 15 minutes at the most. And then one of the surgeons shows up and takes me into his office. The doctor spoke very good English. When you're filling out the form, there's actually a box for preferred language. My girlfriend and I go into the office. She wasn't sure she could go, but she was allowed to come, no problem. The doctor had a great vibe to him. Uh, and he appreciated that I was trying to speak Thai. He even complimented me on my Thai skills, which just shows that he was being very nice. I showed him Lumpy and he said kind of the same thing everybody else did. Yeah, that's not cancer. It's just fat and tissue. He asked me if there was any pain. Lumpy never hurts. Lumpy's very strong. Then he did something that kind of surprised me. He told me I don't even have to get Lumpy removed. I told him that I've had Lumpy for like 30 years. Not because I'm attached to Lumpy. I mean, I'm physically attached to Lumpy, but there's no emotional attachment. The point I was trying to make is that I'm 50 years old. If I live to be 80, Lumpy is going to be huge. He told me that was going to be a very simple procedure an incension, some snips, some cuts, plop, plop, plop. Just local anesthetic in and out of the hospital. I felt like he wanted to do it that same day, but he told me I couldn't swim for, I don't know how many days afterwards. And you all know, yacht party, right? So we looked at the calendar. He said they do surgery on Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays. Yesterday was our monthly birdie board meeting. Yes, yes, I'll make a video about birdie. Just give me some more time please. So we scheduled it for today. It's about eight o'clock in the morning now and at 2 p.m. I will be going under the knife or I'll be waiting in a waiting room to go under the knife. Oh wait, I'm getting ahead of myself. I didn't actually schedule the surgery at that point. The doctor wasn't able to give me a price and I didn't want to schedule it without having a price first. I may not be the best with my money, but I'm not always that stupid. Next, we went to insurance and billing. I don't know, we waited there maybe five minutes. Went into an office and saw somebody. She asked me about my insurance. I told her I'm on travel insurance. She looked up the company and said that I would have to pay first and then I could try to have them reimburse me. 
I'm probably not even going to try to get reimbursed. She said the price was going to be 15,000 baht. That's roughly $450. She said that included the follow-up visit and wound care and meds. And I was like, heck yeah, cut me open. Anyway, after hearing the price, we went to the nurse's station and scheduled the surgery. At the nurse's station, we waited like another five minutes. I mean, God, talk about waiting all day at a hospital. This experience was horrible. Wait a minute, we waited five minutes. I told them the exact date that I wanted to have surgery. They scheduled it. They told me two o'clock on this date. Then they sent me to the pay window and to the pharmacy, which is the same window. I mean, that's really cool. You can get your meds and pay for your visit all at once. I had no idea how much the consultation was going to cost. So it was kind of one of those big drum roll moments. Well, it was like 1100 baht. I don't even think it was that much. Yeah, it was basically like 30, 35, maybe $40. Sure, that's double my copay back home if I had gone to the hospital and used my insurance. But here I am at the best hospital in a big city in Thailand, not using my insurance and paying $40. Now, I did say that I went to the most expensive hospital in town. I didn't go to the other two hospitals for consultations. I don't know how much money I could have saved. Shoot, I might have been able to save $100, maybe even more. But I just wanted to get this taken care of. And like I said, I had been hanging around the hospital all day long, right? Wrong. The whole thing, showing up to the hospital, parking, filling out my initial paperwork, getting my passport photocopied, going to the surgery ward, getting my consultation with the surgeon, going to the billing department to find out how much I have to pay, then going to the nurse's station to schedule the whole thing, and then going back out to our car in the parking lot was all done in one hour. Yeah, one hour. Unscheduled visit, just walk in, everything went well. Everybody was very polite, spoke enough English. My girlfriend did help me a little bit at the registration desk, but I'm sure I would have been fine. It is really nice to have a native Thai person go with you to these kinds of things. So now I'm gonna go back to my room, have breakfast and some coffee because it's just local anesthetic and I don't have to fast today. And in a few hours, I'll be off to have surgery. So we're at the hospital now, we just parked. Uh, once again, Thailand's fantastic. Notice how everybody backs into all their spots here. Yep, smart parking everywhere. Um, and it's not that long a walk from where we parked, but there's this cool golf cart uh, and it's taking us. So yeah, that's pretty cool. This is like fun now. Almost reminds me of being at Disneyland, except that Disneyland, they never cut me open and take out parts. I would say on a scale of one to five, I'm maybe a two on being nervous. Uh, we are here a bit early, but I'm not sure if it's early enough for us to get ice cream. My idea was that I would get ice cream to reward myself after surgery, like I was a little kid or something. But then we decided to come here early, and if we're here early enough, we'll get ice cream before surgery. Door to door service picked us up at our car and dropping us off at the hospital front doors. It's almost like being at the airport. Probably more like the airport than being at Disneyland. Here we go. All right, so it's been a couple days now since I had surgery. I am back home and recovering. Uh, before we get into all of that, if you like this video so far or have liked any of my other videos, please give it one of those likes down below. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, please subscribe and hit that bell for notifications. So after our fun little golf cart ride to the hospital, we proceeded to the surgery ward checked in, they again weighed me and took my blood pressure. It took about 15 minutes after arriving to be taken into one of the surgery rooms. My girlfriend was able to wait right outside of the room. Uh, the nurse came in and shaved the area around my leg. The doctor came in and gave me my injections. I looked up at the clock on the wall and it was 20 minutes after two. So my appointment was at two, surgery started, or at least the anesthetic part started promptly at 2.20. It wasn't long before they had that disposable like paper dressing uh, placed around my leg and I was all ready for surgery. I kind of wanted to watch, but I was already nervous and I was afraid I would see something I didn't want to see. So I laid back and kind of just sung songs in my head, tried to not think about it. The procedure didn't last long and there was only one time when I felt any pain at all. 
I don't know, maybe like 30% through the entire surgery. I felt a little jab of pain, but we're talking about like, I don't know, a one on a scale of one to five. I did have a lot of tugging sensation. I could definitely tell they were moving things around down there. I would hear snips here and there, snip, 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 snip. And the nurse and the doctor just did whatever they had to do, cut that little guy out. I had a bunch of questions, but I didn't want to distract the doctor while he was doing his work. Uh, he stitched me up and everything was good. They bandaged me up. I looked up at the clock and the whole procedure took about 20 minutes. I had asked if I could take Lumpy home. I was pretty sure they would say no, but maybe in Thailand, they're a little more relaxed on it. But yeah, the doctor said I could not. So I asked if Koi could come in and take some video and pictures of it. Koi came in, she took a couple photos and a little video. I'm not going to include that in this video here. The nurse gave my girlfriend all of the post-care instructions. Post-care wise, the entire wound is fully sealed. I mean, it's like fully sealed with bandages. Uh, my only care was not to walk too much, don't go running, don't go exercising, and don't get it wet. We go back in a week, so I go back in Tuesday to have the stitches removed, I believe, and have uh, new bandaging applied. Yeah, we're not rebandaging it at all here at home. There's no wound care for us to do. I'm not sure exactly how I feel about that. I like the whole idea that I don't have to do anything, but at the same time, I want to be able to look at it and make sure that it's healing okay and there's no infection. Medicine-wise, they gave me an antibiotic that I take twice a day after a meal. They also gave me uh, Parcinamol, which is a painkiller. It's not a big painkiller. There's no dopey effect to it. The pain has been very minimal. I've almost been trying not to take pain meds, but if I feel a little pain, I go ahead and take one. I am able to walk around, but that second day I could feel, I don't know, something about it when I was walking that made me think it's probably not best to push it. I've actually stayed in the condo the last couple days. Koi's just been going out and getting food and bringing it back to cook. We've been watching a lot of Netflix. Uh, in fact, we watched the whole Sweet Tooth series. Well, we started it before the surgery, but we finished Sweet Tooth. Sweet Tooth's fantastic, highly recommend. Uh, it's a little bit of fantasy. It's got a little like Walking Dead vibe. Um, it's got some humor, cute characters, good story arcs. Uh, we finished that and then we started watching Stranger Things. But anyway, that's not what this video is about. What else did I want to talk about? Oh, let's talk about the cost. So they quoted me 15,000 to 16,000 baht, which is, I don't know, like $450, something like that. But when I went to go pay for it, the final cost was 13,150 baht. That's uh, under $400 US, and I'll put that actual total right here at the bottom. That doesn't include the 1,000 baht initial consultation, which is about 30 bucks, but it did include the two prescriptions I got, and it includes the post-care follow-up. Uh, so I'm pretty sure when I go back and have my stitches removed, there won't be any billing for that visit. All in all, I was very happy with the whole process going in blind and booking the appointment, uh, getting the consultation, going back for surgery. Uh, everything was well communicated. The language barrier wasn't really there. Although once again, it is nice to have your Thai girlfriend go with you. For my one experience, I definitely recommend Bangkok Hospital Patia. So yeah, recovery is going good. Got some plans for this weekend. Hopefully I'll be back with another video next weekend. Until then, this is Pete on retreat. Thank you for watching and I wish you were here. Okay, not here in my condo, but here in Thailand. <laughs>